Hey guys, it's me, Cory. Today is Monday, June 13th, and, um, yeah, that's right, I've had one of those days, um, have you ever had one of those days where, you know, it's so bad that you need to put sunglasses on so you can kind of cry? Not saying that, you know, I cried or anything. Okay, just a little. Um, I had a meeting with my financial aid at school today. I was under the understandment understanding that next term, which would be for fall, so September, that I would be full-time. Uh, the program I'm running through is as soon as you're full-time, you get some money to live. You know, uh, not, a mu not a lot, but something for you to survive on, right? I have gone two terms of part-time. Um, apparently three weeks ago, the government decided here in Alberta, or in Canada, to let's change up the programs. <sighs> so now there's no math class for me next term, and that means I, for me to catch back up to be full time, it's not going to be until next spring. That's a whole year. I can't do that. And all she could say was, well, you know, I guess you're just going to have to go get a job. I'm like, thinking in my head, I'm like, not a lo lot of places here in Edmonton wants to hire somebody less than 20 hours a week. Because for you to be full-time, you have to work less than 20 hours a week, and it has to be like that for months before you even apply. So what's the sense of doing that? I got out of my meeting, needless to say, I was on my phone. I didn't care who was around me. I phoned up my dad, and I apologized when I got home, but I just needed to vent. I was so mad. Like, seriously, I've been here for two terms, waiting for full time, and then they just go and switch it on me? Not cool. And the second thing is, it's going to be changing again in January. So what, I work my butt off, for the rest of the summer, and then September, and then in January, ooh, it just changes again that I don't get full-time at all? Like, I am so mad, and I have no idea. I, I, I want to quit and then go to a different school, but I just don't know what to do. I'm just so mad, and... <laughs> so... That's my vent for today, how schools, upgrading colleges here in Edmonton, suck. They suck my lady balls. Yes, they do. And no, I don't really actually have balls, but let's just say why not. Anyways, so yeah, guys, if you go to school, you know, and if you're able to get funding, make sure it's just triple four check quadruple check it, make sure that it is, everything is good, and it's, they don't mess you over, because that's what's happening now, and, you know, this was a goal of mine to finish school. I may have to sacrifice and not have that goal. And in my books, that's unacceptable, and I want my goal. So, yeah, I guess I'll fill you guys more in tomorrow. I'm going to have a lot of thinking to do tonight. And yeah. So, uh, leave down comments below if you guys have ever had any kind of schooling situation regarding funding. If so, what have you done? Maybe you guys can help me out. So, on that note, I'm going to let you go. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Alright. <sighs> I heard you guys. Bye.